Welcome back to How to Souls. My name is Rach and today we're going to look at the quickest, easiest and safest way to get past the Hellkite Drake, who isn't actually here at the minute, but if you're watching this video, I'm sure you know where he is and, and what happens when he comes. <laughs> so we've just beaten Taro's demon. So first of all, I would make sure that you go over here and speak to Solar. Solar is a really awesome character in this game. And if you want to see my video on how to complete his storyline, do look out for that one. There's only one way you can go here because this door is locked for now. And it is across this very ominous bridge with burnt bodies and sort of scarring on the bricks. You can tell there's probably something awful gonna happen here. So what I recommend doing is just pushing forward on the stick. Don't hold B. When you hold B, you're running. And when the dragon, not if, but when the dragon breathes fire on you, you will only take a little bit of damage. However, if you are running, you'll take critical damage. This applies for any hit in this game. If you get hit while running or rolling, you will take, I think it's something like 1.25 damage. You take more damage. You don't want to take more damage in this game. So this is a really, really essential shortcut. So once again, what I did was ran from the dragon down these stairs here, down these stairs, ignore the bit that goes outside. You want to stay inside down here. Try not to fall off. Otherwise we're going to have to go the whole way again. <laughs> and then kick this ladder down. Now we'll have a very important shortcut back to the bonfire. More on this later. Okay, so back up these stairs. You can progress this way underneath the bridge. You know, it's a little bit cooler, not so much fire up here. Please do keep a lookout for my video on how to get the Drake sword. Very, very cool starting weapon for this game. However, the purpose of this video is not to teach you how to go under the bridge, it's to teach you how to go over the bridge. This is the easiest and fastest way to get past this drake and into the next area. It even rewards you with a bonus bonfire. Before we go any further, please do bear one thing in mind. If you've seen my video on a really nice, easy way to farm souls in the beginning of the game with this Halkite Drake, this method of getting across the bridge into the room beyond does cause the dragon to fly away. So you just need to make sure that you are totally cool with losing this early game farming method of the Drake on the bridge. If you're cool with that, then I'm cool with that and we can proceed. So like I said before, you're supposed to go under the bridge, but there's a really easy way that you can go over the bridge and you don't have to deal with those poison rats and you get a bonfire to save you a bit of time when you're progressing on the route to gargoyles. So the first thing you have to do is you have to run across this bridge to the other side. If you are far to the left, the fire won't hit you. So there's no need to be worried about that. You just need to have a little faith, run to the other side and wait for the fire to go. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to wait. The dragon knows we're here. He saw us run past. So he's, no, he, the fire's not going to hit us. He's not going to bother breathing again. However, he will get impatient and jump down. As soon as you see him move, as soon as you see him move, you got to run. You have to run. It's a little bit random whether he sometimes he'll decide to try and stomp you. He's gone for the fire attack. We're running straight for this bonfire here. We're going to light it and we're gonna rest at it because he can absolutely try and burn this room here. I've seen him do it. <laughs> so he gets a little pissed off by this and that's him gone. He's away. He'll come back later, but now we can get some treasure on this bridge. We've got a bonfire here in the undead parish. You can go over here. This is actually where the sunlight covenant is. So you can pray here to join the sunlight covenant. However, you can only interact with this if you have a lot of faith or you've done multiple cooperative sessions. So bear in mind, that's where it is, but we can't interact with it yet. I'll make another video on covenants another time. So yeah, you can, uh, you can take down these hollows here. Usually the dragon would do it for you. So you're taking your own turn for once. Here we have a large soul and we also have a claymore. Claymore is a really cool, great sword weapon for the start of the game. It's a, what I'd call a quality weapon where it scales decently with strength and dex. See scaling there. Um, so if you want to progress through here, you can just pull this lever, cronk, uh, to open up this fence here. And this will now be where you are progressing forward here. If I just move up to here uh, and we 
quickly take out this guy. As you can see, that's the boar up ahead. Over here, this ladder down here, that'll take you to the rats down there. And that is literally, we've just gone a roundabout way that avoids the rats because let's be honest, you're gonna get poisoned. And we've got a bonus bonfire and we got the claymore. So as you can see, I really wanted to tell you about this because not a lot of people know that you can just run straight past the dragon. If you're feeling particularly brave, you can even head up here and try and get the ultra great sword from this, uh, from this black knight. Black knight ultra great sword, pretty good, will carry you the whole game. Uh, and you've got the bonfire right here. If you do hack up and die, you can just respawn from the bonfire right here. So that's pretty good. So yeah, it's really cool, especially if you're looking to practice your paddying. This is a really good place to do it because that Black Knight is uh, hes a little scary, right? If you're lucky, he might drop the sword, but he'll just drop a Titanite chunk if not. Either way, it's good practice. In the next video, we're going to look at a really fun way to deal with this boar up ahead because he can be a pain in the bum or we can be a pain in his bum. You decide. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in those.